Alzheimer's is the most prevalent form of dementia, but you don't normally know you have it until you start showing symptoms. But researchers have recently unlocked a new way to know, and it takes just a millisecond of pain on the end of your finger. My mother having it was one level of concern, but now that it's in my generation with my siblings, I'm very concerned about it. For Okemos resident Bertha Bullen, Alzheimer's is top of mind. She's lost 13 people in her family to dementia. Diagnosis of Alzheimer's is very difficult, and often by the time you get a clinical diagnosis, the person is well into the disease stage. Bullen, of all people, knows that an early diagnosis is important, but hard to get. But new advancements in dementia research might change that after scientists found that finger prick blood tests for upper middle aged individuals have a good chance of detecting a protein in the body called beta amyloid that is only present with Alzheimer's. Take a small sample of blood from a finger prick, blot that onto a piece of blotting paper and ship that unrefrigerated to a lab. Uh, and it was close with some level of certainty who has amyloid in their brain just by measuring their blood. Officials say these blood tests are only about 85% accurate, but may be a good screening tool to then carve a pathway for future testing and early treatment. But this is becoming extremely important now because for the first time, we have drugs that are fully approved by the FDA to treat someone if the cause of their dementia is Alzheimer's. These are drugs that are designed to remove the amyloid from the brain. The earlier you start the treatment in the disease, the better the outcomes tend to be. The blood tests have not yet been rolled out to the public, but Bullen tells me they would provide a non-invasive alternative to the already existing MRI or spinal tap tests that doctors typically rely on. If you can do it in the privacy of your own home, you know, stick it in the mail and get your result, even if it's only 80% accurate, at least we'll tell you whether you need to pursue it further. And I think what the drugs do is give us hope. It gives us a reason to go for this early diagnosis. It is truly a, a hopeful situation, and, and I hope they keep working on it. Here for you in Lansing, Nate Salazar, 6 News.